So this is the third episode of the two-player fighting game. So if you haven't watched the first and second one, I suggest you to watch that those two first. It's Kids Coding Playground, and this is the third video. So we're going to be working on the background, the begin button, and the selection screen today. So first, let's go to the backdrop. We're going to code in here. We have the sound here. You can take any sound you want. But I downloaded this sound, so let me zoom in. So one fly flicked, you wanna switch the backdrop to this one, the first backdrop, which is the desert. Just, you can rename it, Back for, backdrop one, BG1, broadcast this message called start screen. So start screen is to start the game. Well, start. It'll start the. It start screen for the selection. So we'll put the forever down here. Put the sound in here. And let's move on to the begin button. So I have it in the backpack already. So I can just drag it in here. But it, since you guys don't have it, I will show you guys. So um, I'll just make a new sprite paint. So, um, not paint. I'm sorry. Um. So we'll just get the button sprite. Button, get this button. So you can just uh, type, um, make it maybe white, white color. So you can write begin or something. Shrink it. And you can write another begin. Begin, and then you can flip it over like that. So that's how you make the begin thing. Oops. There you go, like that. See this? Let's make it something like that. So you can just, I'm just gonna delete this. Just copy this down, make something like that. So, we want to get a one fly, uh, not a one fly click, sorry. So when it receives start screen, we want to reset all the variables. So we need to make two new variables. One is called player one HP. And we can make the other variable later actually, because we don't have two players yet. So just name it player one HP. So player one HP, we can just hide this. So we want to set HP player one HP to 100 in the beginning. We can make the other player two HP later because um, we don't have two players yet. So we can set the player one character to clear in the beginning. So that means it hasn't selected anything yet. So we can go to this position x0 y negative 80. This position I have already and set the brightness to zero. Because we will be changing the brightness when the button is clicked. Uh, and then we can show in the beginning. Because after that, when it's clicked, we need to hide it. So we need to broadcast another message called spin button. So this broadcast is to make the button spin. It's just to make it spin to make it look better. So just name it spin button. Spin button. So when it receives spin button, then we can do a forever loop. Turn two degrees to the left or the right, whichever one you'd like. And if it's touching, if it's touching um, the mouse pointer and mouse down, so if it's getting clicked on basically, touching the mouse pointer and mouse down, then we can set the brightness effect to t negative 10. So we'll make it darker. Change the brightness effect by negative 10. Brightness by negative 10. So we'll make it darker. So let's play it. So when you play it, um, it will play the music and when you click it, it will get darker. We haven't done the code to uh, uh, make it hide and stuff yet. 
so we will do that later. So the back, let's make a little recap. So the backdrop broadcast is start screen to the begin, and the begin will will receive it and broadcast it to other sprites later on in the video. So we still have some more code for the begin button. So when the sprite is clicked, when the sprite is clicked, if when if else statement, if the player we need equal sign. If the player one character is equal to blank, that means nothing has been selected yet. Then we can say uh, for two seconds, maybe uh, players, please select, please select your uh, character. Oops. And else, if it is selected, then we can start sound pop, like make a little sound effect. Then we can hide, hide, broadcast start game, and wait. Start, oops. We need a new message called start game. Start game, new uh, message, and we can stop other scripts in the sprite because we don't need the begin button at all after the game has started. So this is the code for the begin button. So let's play it. We click on it. Players, play select your characters. And we have not, we haven't done the uh, selecting buttons, so that's why it's uh, saying that. So that's why. It's saying that because we haven't got done the selection buttons yet. So we'll do that later. So for the player one, we have to change all the when flag clicks into the start game. So it won't show up in the beginning. We want it to show up once the button is clicked. So start game, just changes that for start game. Just do it for all the when flag clicks. Start game. Do we have any more? Let's drag to this side. I think that's it for now. We might have to do more later. And finally, we do not need this code anymore. This is just testing, so you can just delete it. So Next, we will work on the artwork for the ninja girl buttons. I already have the stuff in my backpack, but I will drag it out and teach you guys how to play, make it. So, you go to costumes. So first, let me delete this. I'll show you how to do it from the beginning to end. So you want to get the ninja girl idle costume and then convert to a vector, select the whole thing. Control C, copy and paste it. Make a new costume and uh, paste it over here. So as you can see, and now you erase everything under the head. Just convert to bitmap. Hit the eraser tool and erase everything under it until the head. You have to be, you have to zoom in a bit at the end because you have some. Uh, hard parts to clean up so you gotta go slow see like you can mess up sometimes like you can click it that's a good alt way to do it and you can set the thing to smaller size like a 10 size to clean up this edges um we're almost done. I mean, it doesn't have to be too perfect, but just clean it up. Try to do it the best you can, like I'm doing. Oops, there's a little cut on the hair. Maybe five size, a bit smaller now, to make it clean up better. Clean up this area. 
Um, uh, this is pretty good right now. Let's clean off the edges. That was bad. And erase this. So that should be good. So now you can just convert back to vector so you can select it. So we can make a new sprite, paint a new one, make it right here, get like a circle, put like some orange color like I did up there, put an outline, with like a brown color. And you want the, um, and you want the thickness, I'm just doing a random color, just to show you and demonstrate, you can, um, make six as the outline, draw the circle, and you hold down the shift key so you get a perfect circle, like right now. So you go to the head, select it. Remember to convert back to vector. Control C, Control V. Now you can shrink it. Shrink it to the size. And always drag from the corners. So I have the ninja head. You can make it a bit bigger, actually. So this is my ninja head. And then you can just duplicate it. Um, make a different color for the background. Like maybe blue. Blue. Blue, and then the edge can still be black, I guess. And then you can just write with white or something. Player one. And put it right there so when it'll start out as this and when it's clicked it will change to this like that and that okay so I'm just gonna delete these so if you ever need to um, learn how to do it you can just go back a bit and watch me do it so I have the costumes same thing for the dragon do the same thing as the dragon when you're making the dragon button. So let me drag this in. Let me take it. So next, let's work on the code for the ninja girl button. So in the flag clicked, we can set the X and Y position. So the reason why it's set right there is because I have it in my backpack. So it will set it to that. So if you, because it probably won't be the same place as mine. So you could just set it as negative 170 or y60 you can do it anywhere you want actually but i'm staying with this we want it to go to the front layer so everything will go to the back like the platforms and stuff switch the costume to costume one in the beginning like the regular costume non-selected one and we have to show in the beginning uh and when this sprite is clicked We want to set the um, player one character to NG because this is the ninja girl button. So when you click on it, we change it to ninja girl. So now we broadcast a message called player one select. We can name it player one select. And when this receives player one selects, then we get an if else statement. If the player one character is equal to the ninja, ninja girl, then we can get change it to ng. So if the player one character is ninja girl, then we can switch the costume to costume two which is the selected one, as you can see. And switch costume else, we can switch the costume to costume one. The NG is matching with the sprite costume. That's why we have to put NG. As you can see, costume is NG run, NG uh, jump, NG attack. That's why we have to put NG in the front. And when I receive start game, 
then we have to hide. Because when the game starts, we want the buttons to hide. Player 2 Dragon is pretty much the same thing. You can just drag and drop all the code into here, but we just have to change a couple extra things. Um, drag this in. And drag this in. So now we have all the code here. So instead of ng, since this is dragon, we have to set this to drg. Because uh, the corresponding um, costumes, as you can see right here, is drg. See? drg run, drg attack, drg jump. So we set it to drg. And we set the variable to here also to DRG. And one last thing. I think we forgot to add it from here. We have to change the X and Y position to negative 65, Y 60, which is that position right there. And broadcast and when the sprites clicked we have to switch to the costume too so yeah that's all the code so we play it and you only select one so right now we only have one player so if you don't select anything they'll say players please select your characters Players, please select the characters. We'll change the bright. We'll ch uh, fix the brightness thing later. When you, select, uh, when you select one of them, you cannot select the other. When you play with the dragon, everything still works smoothly and fine. So since every single time you click the button, it gets darker and darker, like that, like that. You can't even see it. Put the clear graphic effects right here. So now, as you can see, when you click it, it'll clear back after it's done saying it. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the fourth episode of the two-player fighting game.